Hey Tanner, what you drinking? I'm sipping on my pre-workout shake. Oh really? Should I take a pre-workout drink? Well, are you ready to stop being a pencil neck punk and ready to start crushing your workouts? Yeah, I'm tired of having a pencil neck. Then just watch this video. Hey, it's Tanner Shruck from TrueStrength.co, and I'm gonna show you exactly what to take pre-workout to maximize your training performance. And I'm not just making this up either. This is all scientifically proven, and it's a game changer. Now by pre-workouts, I'm not talking about the high school kids snorting their workout powders or chugging Red Bulls before they go to the gym to play grab ass. Caffeine and stimulants only get you so far. And if you use pre-workout supplements as a crutch for your shitty sleep and eating habits, I hate to break it to you, but you're a fucking idiot. At some point, you gotta let your balls drop and start taking your sleep, training, and nutrition as seriously as your late night tug and pull sessions on Pornhub. So if you're serious about making gains and wanna know exactly what to take around your workout, let's get to it. But before you get too excited, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. Before we think about pre-workout foods or supplements, let's break down what your body needs to contract its muscles, because there's actually a lot of factors that we can easily manipulate. While this is way oversimplifying it, your nerves signal your muscles to contract. And for proper nerve signaling and muscular contraction, your body needs adequate amounts of sodium, potassium, and magnesium, also known as basic electrolytes. Ever taken a piss in the morning into the color dark yellow, or been woken up in the middle of the night from a vicious leg cramp? That's your body's way of telling you, hey asshole, I'm dehydrated as f and give me some electrolytes. Proper hydration is paramount for performance, and no, you can't just drink a shit ton of water and think you're hydrated. Let's go science nerds, what's another name for water? H2, H2O? That's right, there's only hydrogen and oxygen in water alone. No sodium, potassium, or magnesium. Also, need I remind you that when you sweat, you not only lose a bunch of water, but also electrolytes? So not only do you need to drink a shit ton of water, but you also need to replenish your electrolytes before, during, and especially after your workout when your body needs them the most. The easiest way to do this, salt your foods and eat a real whole food diet. I can make an entire YouTube video on the benefits of salt and how sodium has been unjustly demonized. Just know, increasing your salt intake will not only ensure you're better hydrated, but it's perhaps the greatest performance enhancer that no one tells you about. I eat a buttload of salt. I salt every meal, and I even pop salt tabs before I work out. You can also easily add in dissolvable electrolyte tablets or powders into your pre-workout drink. You can also be like me and supplement with additional magnesium and potassium just to make sure you're covering your bases. So how much salt do you need to be taking in? I don't know, but according to research, you can lose anywhere between 500 to 2000 milligrams of salt with strenuous exercise. But here's what I do know. If you wanna stay properly hydrated, the experts recommend that you salt your foods to taste and drink when you're thirsty. God damn it, common sense wins again. So now that we've covered proper hydration, let's talk about what everyone really loves, carbs. While salt and electrolytes are a necessity, your carb intake should depend on your goals. You've got pretty much two options, lose fat or build muscle. If fat loss is your main goal, you're better off training without carbs. But Tanner, if I don't have any carbs before my workout, I won't have any energy. Listen, fat ass, lift up your shirt and look at all that stored energy you have in the form of a big ass gut. Trust me, you have all the energy you need. In other words, if you're overweight, you don't deserve any carbs. Think of it like this. If you train carb depleted, that increases fat oxidation. Essentially, your body uses its excess fat reserves as energy to make up for those missing carbs. Rocket science. While I know some people are gonna disagree with me on this and say it's all about calories in versus calories out, please just take my word for it and know if you eat a high protein, low carb diet, you're gonna lean out faster and maintain all your muscle. Just speaking from my own anecdotal experience. But if you're already fairly lean and muscular, you can do what I do and just eat the majority of your carbs around your workout when your body will utilize them the most efficiently. So how much carbs should you take? Well, according to research, your body burns roughly one gram of carbohydrate per minute of exercise. So that means if you exercise for 45 minutes, you should take in 45 grams of carbs pre-workout, right? Not exactly. While your body does store the majority of its carbs you eat in its muscles in the form of muscle glycogen, it also stores some in the liver and some carbs just stay floating around your bloodstream. Don't ask me why. Now glycogen, which is just another fancy word for glucose, is the actual energy your muscles use to contract. Just think of glycogen as muscle fuel. But honestly, I feel that's a bit too much for most people. And in my case, I take around 80 to 100 grams before most of my workouts. 
And unless you train harder or carry more muscle than me, you'll probably be good taking around 0.4 grams of carbs per pound of lean body weight. Now, what kind of carbs do you wanna take? Your body prefers two forms, glucose and fructose. And since they both have different absorption rates, you give your body both quick hitting and long lasting energy sources. Just get the fructose from fruits, or you can do what I do and just mix orange juice with your pre-workout drink. And the glucose pretty much comes from the rest of your carbs, your rice, potatoes, oats, bread. Just know you can never go wrong with white rice as it gets in your system fast and digests easily. Alternatively, if you wanna be lazy as like me and not stress about eating your carbs, you can just sip on a carb supplement around your workout. Here's some honorable mentions. But my absolute favorite supplement is Biotest Surge Workout Fuel. Full disclosure here, I am in no way paid or sponsored to push their product, but I do write articles for T Nation, and apparently they like me enough to send me their awesome supplements. I'm not even gonna pretend to remember all the ingredients in this product, so I'm just gonna leave it right here. Just know, it's all scientifically proven, and it gives you everything your body needs to sustain hard training. And lastly, protein, the most important macro of them all. I actually made a full day of eating video highlighting the importance of protein, which you can watch right here. What kind of protein? It doesn't really matter. I recommend a quality isolate, whether that's whey, egg, or even pea protein. You just wanna get something fast digesting so you can get those amino acids back circulating through your system so you can start the recovery process and optimize muscle protein synthesis, blah, 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 blah. Remember, you want a two to one carb to protein ratio. So if you take 100 grams of carbs, you wanna take 50 grams of protein. Again, full disclosure, I currently take Biotest Protein. It has a great mix of both whey and casein. It mixes well and tastes delicious. But any quality isolate will do the job. And here's some honorable mentions of other supplements I include in my pre and intra workout shake. So yeah, that pretty much covers pre, intra, and post workout nutrition in a nutshell. Make sure you get your salt and electrolytes, eat your carbs so you can train hard, as long as you're not a fat ass, and definitely get your protein so you can recover from your training. So if you're looking for training programs, make sure to check out the Straight Up Strength or Fit Aesthetics program available at truestrength.co or in the description below. Did I mention there's a seven day free trial? And with any True Strength program, you get a free anabolic meal plan and custom calories and macros. I give you everything you need to succeed. All you need to do is the work. And lastly, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments and what topics you wanna to see me cover in the future. And if you haven't already, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss another video. Remember, don't just be strong, be truly strong. I'll see you guys soon.